All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. We're going to get going. We want to try and stay on schedule. We're already a couple minutes behind. Uh, if I haven't had a chance to introduce myself to you, my name is Jake Skipstead, and I'm the founder and president of the nonprofit that's called Shield 616. And we are extra excited to be here today. Um, obviously, we're very excited about uh, the gear in front of me, but, um, but this is where I went to college, uh, back uh, 98 to 2000. So uh, I was uh, obviously not in this beautiful building, but it's always great to come back here and see some of the instructors and to see some of my classmates who are now uh, on the local law enforcement. So it's uh, a pleasure to be here with you. Well, if you don't know what Shield 616 is, uh, you're going to have a great understanding of it as of today. I hope that each of you, when you walk into this room today, you were really excited by the gear that you see in front of you. Um, both for the officers who are receiving this gear, I know that you men and women understand the need for this, understand what this means to you, but to the community that has stepped up and said, hey, I want to back my law enforcement. I want to make sure that my law enforcement is safe. I want to make sure that my law enforcement is being taken care of, supported, and being prayed for. I hope that when you saw this, that you were really excited about it. It's not very often when you donate to a lot of these charities out there that you get to see your money being used. But uh, for you donors that are here today that participated financially, you get to see exactly where your money went. And I can tell you, it's gonna get really powerful here in just a few, in a few minutes. So how this came to be, uh, I was with the Colorado Springs Police Department for just under uh, 14 years. And how we kind of came up with this idea of our uh, need of helping our law enforcement with active shooter gear. Uh, I was actually involved in two active shooters in Colorado Springs. Uh, both of them had, uh, unfortunately, multiple fatalities. We had officers who were shot and killed. And just, you know, obviously, it was just laid on my heart to say, we have got to do something to make sure that our law enforcement is safe. This is not a problem in Douglas County or in Alexandria. This is an issue across the whole country, from the largest agencies to the smallest. This year is very, very expensive. It has to be replaced every five years, and it doesn't get used very often. So it's very hard for agencies, regardless of the size, to be able to purchase this and to be able to have this, especially when it's something that's potentially life-saving. And so for you, the community, again, to step up, you are truly being a blessing to your local men and women, and I can't thank you enough. In fact, my thank you pales in comparison to the thank you that you're gonna get when you get to come stand with your officer or your deputy and shake their hand and get a thank you from them. So for the last two and a half years, uh, we uh, have been going to anywhere and to anyone that will listen to us. We have been talking with individuals, with families, churches, businesses, foundations, anyone that would be interested in supporting their local law enforcement. And what's been really cool to see over the last two, just over two years, uh, we've been able to raise just under $3 million for law enforcement. We're in 17 different states. We are in hundreds of agencies. And I can tell you, the need is the same. Uh, we've done quite a few agencies where there's only one officer. A lot of times it's just a police chief. And we are dealing with agencies the size of Las Vegas Metro. They want 3,500 vests. Houston PD, they're asking for uh, just under 5,000 vests. And so it really goes to show you, from one to these big agencies, this is a common problem for our law enforcement across the country. Uh, what's been really neat to see, though, is the community stepping up. And we have a lot of awesome stories from young kids going door to door, doing popcorn sales, or just asking for donations. Uh, we had two boys in Monty, Colorado, where we're from. Um, just north of where we're from, uh, they raised, going door to door and doing popcorn sales, they raised $14,000 in about five months and were able to donate 10 of these kits. Uh, they almost equipped their whole agency. And so it was so cool to see that. But we got churches that are around, they are doing special offerings, special fundraising, getting their congregation involved, engaged. We have businesses that say, hey, I know these officers, they come into our store, or, or hey, they're, out, they're sitting out in our parking lot all the time, and we appreciate that. And, we want to make sure that they're taken care of. And then we have families saying, hey, we want to do this for our children. We want our children to have great relationships with our law enforcement so that they can understand and learn and grow up to have that healthy respect for authority. And so it's been really, really neat to see it truly is a community-wide effort. And before I can go any farther, as, as you guys know, we're from Colorado, and so we obviously have limited capabilities when we're outside of our arena. And we have absolutely got to give uh, Craig McMillan with We've Got Your Back USA, a huge round of applause, because he's the one uh, that has been going out and doing a lot of the work for us and, and really reaching out to the community, making them aware of this and getting them behind us. So Craig, I cannot thank you and your wife and your team enough. <laughs> Uh, 
that have been coming from this in the last two and a half years. Uh, one of the things that we get really excited is, you know, obviously where we're at. Um, obviously, again, this is very special to me having gone to college here, but we've been able to do these in sheriff's departments, we've done them in police departments, we've done them in elementary schools, uh, middle high, high schools, we've done them in multiple colleges, we've done them in restaurants, Texas Roadhouse is one of my favorites. Um, we even did them in a massive iron ore mine in northern Minnesota. And they actually pulled one of those two-story dump trucks up uh, right next to the police cars and kind of stable. So it was pretty neat. And we just found out the last couple days that uh, it looks like we're going to be doing one at a nuclear power plant. And so um, that's going to be uh, obviously a very, a very interesting one. But this game goes to show you the different uh, occupations, the different businesses getting involved, getting behind this. And it's really been, it's really been phenomenal. Uh, one of the funnier stories that we've had is obviously um, what Show 616 is, is we want to rally the community to help provide this gear. But you being here today is the second part. We want you guys to have a chance to get to know and support your law enforcement. And some of the fun stories that we've had of people choosing an officer is we had a, a couple in Colorado Springs and they had uh, really young kids and a stay-at-home mom and, and so they asked for an officer that patrolled their, around their house and and they asked for an op it got very specific. They asked, is there any officers that have a stay-at-home mom uh, that have young kids? And lo and behold, there was an officer that worked on the midnight shift that just had triplets. And so if there's anybody that's going to need support, encouragement, and prayer, it's going to be an officer that just had triplets who works the midnight shift. But to see them do family life together at that stage, I can tell you it's a bomb that's not going to be And they were obviously very grateful to get this gear, but that friendship that has developed from that uh, it has become so strong. Um, we had another guy uh, come up to us from in, in a church, and he, he comes right up to me, and he just had his finger right in my chest, and he goes, Jake, I want you to find me an officer that swears too much, he drinks too much, he, his marriage is failing, he's rough around the edges, and I just stopped him, and I said, that's basically every officer. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously I said that jokingly, but you know, his heart was in the right place, so I want to make a difference. You know, I want to be able to make a difference in an officer's life, you know, maybe who's having a tough time, but I want to make sure that he knows he has someone on his side to root for him and support him. And so, um, so we are very excited to be here today. Uh, in just a minute, um, this isn't about me, this is going to be about our officers and our deputies. I'm going to have you guys come on up here and it's going to be a, a really cool time. Uh, so in just a couple minutes, I'm going to invite the deputies and the officers who are receiving their kits, or if you're standing in, I know a couple of the guys couldn't be here today, uh, lucky for them, it sounds like they're hunting. Um, but uh, we're going to have them come on up, and then for the rest of us that are here, whether you're a donor or a family member, uh, local media, if you would like to get a good picture, we're going to take about two minutes to get a really good picture of everybody lined up, because it really is kind of a once-in-a-lifetime -in opportunity that we're going to have all these men and women lined up in one place for one cause, and we want to have a chance for you guys to get some good pictures. And so, so with that, um, we'll have the officers come up in just a minute, but um, once they're up here, I'll say a few more words, and then it's going to get really fun. And it gets really powerful. And we're going to ask you, the donors, the support groups that are participating, we're going to have, come, we're going to have you come stand with your officer. And we're going to make sure that we get some good pictures of that because it is a very powerful symbol to see our officers standing with their community. And I truly do believe that when, you're, when your law enforcement is in harmony with your community and has a good partnership with your community, you are going to have a healthy city. And to have this, to have you guys standing with them is just a small glimpse into the health of this city, and it's, it's pretty phenomenal to be able to see that. So with that, if I could please get all of our officers and our deputies, if you don't mind coming on up here, and if you didn't find your spot yet, on the front of these gears, on these white plates, a magnet with your name on it, if you need to walk the front line real quick to find your name, go ahead and do that. Obviously, you can narrow it about half. We got police on this side, sheriff on that side, but if you will please come stand behind your gear, and we'll take a, a couple minutes here to let you get in up here. I'm gonna get out of your way while they're walking behind me here. Yeah, you're gonna have to jam in there and get close, get comfortable. So, or if you guys just want to just go and spread out. <laughs> So when we were down in Dallas, uh, we were doing a best presentation like this, and I'll get out of your way in just a second for pictures. Um, 
we were at a church, and the lieutenant of the Dallas Police Department wanted to say a few words to the congregation. And he said to the, something to the church that's really stuck with me. And when he was up there on stage, he pointed to that church congregation. He said, men and women, I selected these officers standing behind me because they work in one of the most dangerous areas in Dallas, and they work on a midnight shift. They don't get to deal with individuals who appreciate them, who are grateful for what they're doing. They don't get to experience the community's love for them. And I really need them to experience your love this morning. And they give them a big round of applause. And I would like for you to do the same. I would like for these guys to know that you love them and you support them. So would you please, let's give these guys a big round of applause. Obviously, in a financial way, this kit had a financial value. Very, very expensive gears, top of the line gear. But I want you to take a look at the kit that you were able to provide, some of you, multiple of them. And I want you to look at the officer or the deputy standing behind you now. Because I want you to know at this moment, your donation is now priceless. Because each of these officers, each of these deputies are going to take this with them at the end of the ceremony. And they're going to be able to have this with them in a time of need, it's because of you that have been able to do this. And I just cannot thank you again enough for what you have done to do this. And I think it's only appropriate that our law enforcement, let's give these guys a big round of applause for this. <laughs> We want you to come on up with your cell phone, your camera, whatever, get a good picture of them. Uh, we're going to take two minutes. When you hear me yelling into the microphone, please uh, have a seat again. We want to stay on track because I can tell you word spreads really quickly that all the law enforcement's in one place. So before this city is on fire, we want to make sure that we can stay on track. Officers, deputies, this is not a mug shot, so please smile, okay? So two minutes for pictures. Come on up. Don't be shy. And I'll be yelling at you in just a minute and we'll keep this program going. All right, well, this is where it's going to get fun. And if you guys would just stay where you're at, please. Um, like I said earlier, I truly do believe in rallying our community to our, to our law enforcement. We all see what's happening to law enforcement across the country, all these different violent situations, a lot of this hostility, a lot of the intentional ambushes. And we need to make sure that our law enforcement is supported every single day. And so what we do is, for all the support groups that are here and the donors that are here, there is a magnet with your deputies or your officer's name on it, and we want you to take this with you. And we want you to put this on your fridge because we want you to be reminded every single day of the sacrifice of your deputy or your officer. We want you to be reminded every single day to pray for that officer, for that deputy, or to support them. Or maybe, hey, today's the day that I treated the coffee or I reached out to them or I treated them to lunch or something. But I can tell you, law enforcement is hard every day. Law enforcement is dangerous every day. Not just when you see something in the newspaper or hear something on the radio or on the news. These guys really do need your support. And I think a lot of times, as we all do, for, we take our family and our friends and our coworkers for granted as far as support. But in a lot of cases, when you have somebody new, a stranger, that's coming alongside you and providing such an amazing piece of equipment, and to know that you are behind them and support them, there's something that's really powerful about that. So I hope you realize the significance of what you have done. And I really do hope that you'll be able to stay in contact with these guys. So when I have you guys come on up here, uh, what we would love to have happen, obviously we're going to take some pictures and have some fun times. But if you can exchange information with them, that would be great. Uh, deputies, officers, if you could just give them a work business email or a business card, uh, you know, just a way for them to communicate with you, we would love for that. Um, I promise you they're going to bless you. And these are uh, good folks in your community. So with that, if I could please get uh, all of our support groups, all of our donors, we're going to have you guys come stand with them. And what we want you to do, and we're very intentional about this, if you would please, you can go both directions, but you'll stand behind them, and we'll explain why in a minute. And I know it's going to take you guys a couple minutes to get up here. So if you will start coming on up, I know we, we have to get one person to stand up. This is the scary part. So if you're a donor, there we go. All right, here we go. Come on up, stand behind these officers, these deputies. Folks, these are good people in your community. Please let your guard down for just one minute. They're going to stand right behind you. 
are worth fighting for, and they are grateful for what you do on a daily basis. And so I cannot thank everybody from the donors, the support groups, from the officers, Craig, and we've got you back, USA, and everybody that's been involved with this. Thank you so much for taking care of our first responders. Let's give everybody a big round of applause. Anybody's taking pictures, please share with us, whether on social media or send them to me. Uh, this is how we spread the work. From the first best presentation we did here, um, in that time, we were able to, uh, Park Rapids saw what you guys did, and some folks down their valley, and we did all Park Rapids, we did all Hubbard County, uh, Beltrami County, a whole bunch of stuff happened because of what they saw on social media, what they saw happen here. You know, those folks in that community said, hey, can I do that for my law enforcement? Or we get agencies saying, hey, how do they get this good stuff? How can I get that for my department? And so it really does spread out. In fact, we have multiple agencies that are interested, and we were going to try and jam it into this one, but we just didn't have enough time. So please help us spread that word, help us network. We still have work to be done in the surrounding areas, but we are so excited to be able to be finishing off um, the Alexandria Police Department, uh, the Douglas County Sheriff's Department, and we start with a couple new agencies, uh, Glenwood and Los Angeles. And so we're very, very thrilled about that. So real quick, if you want to come join me here for a picture, uh, come stand with me right up here. I'm going to risk my life and stand on this chair. So yes, I'm going to put the microphone down, but I'm going to take another picture. So if you guys would please look at me, I would appreciate it. And then I will get on here, guys, and join you guys. All right, we're going to do another panel shot real quick here, folks. While I'm up here. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. Again, not a mug shot. <laughs> All right. If anyone else would like a quick picture, let's take one minute. Come on up, don't be shy. If I can just get everyone to still look this way for these pictures. All right. So we're going to keep going. Uh, what we would love is just to cut, if I can get everyone's attention real quick. We're always done. I know I stand between you guys and food. So if I can get everybody's attention, real quick, I will whistle. Yes. We've got refreshments out here. Obviously, you saw it. You smelled it when you came in. Enjoy that food. Thank you, Dave Craig, for, for providing that. And what we would love for you guys to do, and all of you guys to do, is uh, to uh, fellowship over some food and shake these men and women's hands. Thank them for what they're doing. Walk down the line. Thank for what they're doing. Uh, we're going to have a chance to get to know him when he introduce himself. We would love to have that. And Craig wants to say something oh, about no. oh. The no food was provided by Senex and Eldon's food. Senex and Eldon's. Yep. Thank you for the food. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you.